All right, what's going on YouTube? So, um, this morning we are we got a video. Um, I got my uh, Lee Wilson uh, mandrel um, tool in, and uh, so here we go. It's right here. So how it works is is this is how I'm gonna control my neck tension, right? So um, it just comes apart like this. It's got a really nice window. I mean, machining on this is just crazy. This is my first tool by them. Um, and so this is for 30 cal. It says it right here. I got it for 7 mil and uh, 224 um, too. So uh, basically, instead of using my... Um, my uh, full-length sizing die and the uh, um, expander ball, what I'm doing is I'm running it off of basically sizing the brass, just this, by taking my expander ball out. And the thought behind this is to control the neck tension better, and also it's supposed to help with run out. So what I do is, is I size my piece of brass first. So let's get a, let's get a measurement of our, our neck tension here. Yeah, let's see here. So, if we got a piece of 300 wind mag brass here, I'll get some neck tension. So this is before, this is before sizing. So we're just, I'm 308.5 right now. 308.5. And so we're gonna go ahead and size this piece of brass and then we'll show that we don't touch the neck. We're just gonna Add some lube here, maybe, eventually. Maybe make this hole a little bigger. But anyways, add some lube, wipe it on there. I'm um, just using some RCBS case lube. Um, and then I take it and I just roll it. Get it nice and lubed up. We've I've got my resizing die already set. Um, and so that's, so that's there and what we're going to do is we're just going to take it run it up in there so it's sized take it and a little wipe kind of wipe it off wipe all that lube off and so the body is sized but not the neck so we didn't touch the neck so we're going to go in and check it So now it's 2.915 is the inside. So what it did was is it resized everything, but we didn't run our expander ball. So it didn't, you know, when it comes back out of the expander ball, pulls out, it usually sizes it to what you want. So that step's done. So then we're going to do the Lee Wilson um, but what I, what I usually, the mandrel die, what I usually do is I usually get a little bit of lube on this and then I just lube up the neck. This is a brand new tool for me. So I'm really excited. I got this. Um, it, uh, I'm, I'm really curious to see how it does. Um, I would imagine it, it should help. Um, let's see here. We got some lube on there now. All right. Wipe some lube up in there so it doesn't get stuck. And then we're gonna run this bad boy up in here, like so. Oop, I whacked the camera. And that's all we need to do. And it's pretty nice because you can see through this window here. And yeah, and I take my dry side Q-tip, wipe some of that out of there. I'm gonna take my, my calipers. Let's see what we got here. We've got three, four, five. So we've got about two and a half neck tension. It's exactly basically what we want. Um, and so that's right there. 
is basically how the Lee Wilson mandrel die works. Um, and so I've got the uh, the tw um, 22 cal one here. So that just screws right in. And then I've got the 7 mil. So it's real easy. You can just buy, you can buy the die by it yourself. Or you can just and you can just buy the inserts so that way you don't. Um, but they also do sell as a kit. But I don't really load for like you know tons of other ones. Um, those are going to be my main three stuff that I'm going to load for. Um, so yeah, that's basically. Um, let's see here. Let's turn the camera around here. So that's that's basically it. Um, the goal, the goal for this, the whole purpose behind this is basically to control my neck tension a little better so I'm not running over, like I said, um, running over the expander ball because the expander ball sometimes can can be a little iffy, but let's see what we got here for, so that's 2.8, let's see here, the max, so it says 3.6, so you should be right around, you know, 2,000 neck tension. But if that expander ball isn't perfectly aligned, let's say it's a little crooked or whatever, you can extend your run out. So kind of just to experiment, see how it goes, see if it improves groups at all. Um, I'm going to check a run out too. Um, maybe I'll do that in another video. Uh, but I just want to get a quick little video up. Uh, excuse me, it's early in the morning. Um, quick little video up real quick and uh, show you my new tool I got, the Lee Wilson Span, span mandrel. It's really nice. I think this with one die comes for like, I mean, one uh, insert comes for like 70 bucks and the rest of the inserts for like 12 bucks each. So that's not bad. Um, machining quality is, is really good. Um, so yeah, so that's how it works. Um, we'll see if it works, see if it makes a difference. If not, um, I just got another tool and another step added in, <laughs> but you know what? Um, uh, like, like I, my channel name is, is quest for the perfect load. I'm uh, trying to basically just get, find a way to get the best results. And um, that's just what I want to do. So, all right, guys, make sure you like, subscribe, and I'll catch you later. Take it easy.